now here religious reform and public debates so uh, as according to this topic what happened here in the early 19th century now what happened the new uh, views spread in society and what happened especially related to the religious or religion different groups were there and uh, they all trying to be make their group as a superior or their religion as a superior the variety of uh, new views were there as now the people were there they were also criticizing they were raising the questions why how such kind of questions are there and now these all things in coming uh, with the help of uh, uh, print now it's carried out in public so the public was there and public is not only reading or seeing all these things but they were there they shaped the nature of the debates as here they were there they shaped the nature of the uh, nature of the debates a wide wider public could new participate in these public discussions and express their views so uh, in this way they were there to uh, raise the question some were happy with this print and some were against with this this is the time period when there was a intense controversy between the social and religious group reformers and hindu orthodox groups we have seen there was a social reformers and one side hindu orthodox doxy was there and uh, the debate over as uh, we have seen the issues like the widows immolation monotheism brahmanical priesthood idolatry so these all issues were there so one side they were there they all were talking about these all things and one side the social reformers were there and they were saying why uh, uh, why widow can't be uh, do the remarriage or uh, why uh, always the priest uh, son become a priest like this way all these things uh, they were talking about okay so for this as and these all things what, uh, what uh, they have done these all things these all uh, debates uh, they have uh, published in local language which was the spoken language or the ordinary language so when this was a ordinary language so it means it was read by everyone okay this was the good thing over there as uh, finally ram mohan roy was there in 1821 he has written one book the book name is samvad komudi and uh, through this book he is trying to write about these orthodox and uh, what happened so one side Ra uh, ram mohan roy has written this book samvad komudi then another side hindu orthodox was also there and they have what he, they have written they have written the book is chandrika okay so please underline both of these books chandrika then also they have uh, printed two persian newspaper which was one is known as a zam e zahanama or zam e zahanama and shamshul these were the two newspapers they uh, which was published in 1880 two okay north india now as we have seen in this topic that there were uh, especially for the religious ones so now here come the first is the ulema ones and they were deeply anxious about the collapse of muslim dynasties uh, so uh, they were having fear they were thinking that the uh, colonial ruler will uh, 
do the changes or conversion change the muslim personal law so what they have done now they have there they have start to print their personal law as please underline this thing they use cheap lithographic press published persian and urdu translation of holy scripture and printed religious newspaper and tract the diwan seminary please underline the diwan seminary was there so in uh, north india the ulama were deeply anxious about the muslim group as what uh, they were having their fear they were thinking that the colonial ruler are going to be uh, change their muslim law so what they have done they have started to print uh, they use a cheap lithographic press published persian and urdu translation of holy scriptures and printed religious newspaper and tracts the diwan seminary founded in uh, 1867 please underline this okay and this seminary they have written a thousands upon thousands of fatwas and through these uh, fatwas they were there telling to the muslims that uh, how be in our daily life okay so uh, in this way they were they are trying to safeguard their muslim communities as uh, there were number of muslim sects and seminaries appeared each with different interpretation of faith each on enlarging its following and countering the influence opponent urdu print helped them conduct these battle in public so how this is possible it uh, this one is possible with the urdu print now if we have seen about the muslim group then now hindu group is also there so the same problem with the hindus also but here what happened because uh, the books are going to be printed in local language so it helps the hindus to spread about their religion as uh, uh, tulsi das ji he has written ramcharit manas so his first uh, printed book published in 1810 in calcutta then in 19th century mid of the 19th we have seen again the chief lithographic uh, papers uh, with the use of these chief lithographic papers the whole uh, market was flooded in north india as it is written here then uh, please underline these presses as the press is in lucknow naval kishore press and in bombay shri venkateshwar press in these presses they have uh, printed uh, so many religious book in the regional languages so in this way the religious text therefore reached a very wide circle and uh, through these uh, religious texts or through these print now the public is uh, start uh, discussion or debate but one more thing is also there that print did not only means now the uh, religious debates they were there not only make them uh, different or separate but somewhere they were there to uh, take out all the uh, means which is not good for the society or which is not good for the common people those things they were there to taking out and the rest of the thing is this they were there also to make them unite because now the people are reading the things as bible quran ramcharitmanas samvad kaumudi so they knows uh, they come to know that uh, the god is one only 
as earlier they were knowing the my god is this my god is this my god is this but now after the printing after reading all these books they come to know this thing